The Brunswick Bauer was one of the few in the north possessing a permit for lax noise restrictions after 2 a.m. 353 days a year, the warehouse was the production hub for ethically printed, esoteric, non-licensed Simpsons t-shirts. But for 12 nights a year, the space turned into a rolling swell of poets, garage bands, and recent travelers to Berlin. Lured by the smell of cleanskin wine and a quaint entry fee, the Bohemians of the North flocked to the warehouse in twos and threes and fives and nines, primed for a night of readings and shit-hot local music. Edmund Fitzgerald had not stopped at a pre-drinks or a botanical garden to procure a buzz, but came directly and deliberately alone. This was, after all, his live reading debut, and thus he chose an event where any feedback afterwards would arrive from total strangers, people whom he could readily dismiss as vapid trendoids. The warehouse had been boldly planned. Instead of squeezing through a narrow sharehouse hallway, one marched down a vista of contemporary art rooms, which Edmund regarded with the utmost neutrality. Edmund enjoyed such challenges to convention in public, but in private, upheld a deep sense of white male confusion and acute... Hey, Edmund! Oh, why? Why are you here? Wow. Sorry, no, I just, I deliberately picked something where no one would know me and you're insufferable. Oh, look, it is Saturday and I could be elsewhere, but I was ordered to be here by mum and dad, those two people that you pretend fell down a well. I couldn't exactly invite them, could I? They'd be the oldest people here by about 40 years. No, just call them. I do. Yeah, for birthdays and for money. Those two things don't count. I mean, they did make you alive and keep you that way for 20 years. The least you could do is tell them what you get up to. It's a bit easier for you, isn't it? Master's degree, I was off the tongue a lot easier than fuck all, and my roommate put my shoes in the bar. <gasps> Pretendo! Fuck's sake. You? Me? Why? Gig. Uh, poem. I'm reading a poem. Oh, uh, good for you. Yeah, don't do that. No, so you're still doing the writing thing? Yes. Yeah, wow, we don't talk at all anymore, do we? Are we still um uh, living together? Yes. Yeah. Um, didn't I go away for like two weeks? Mm -hmm. And I locked it in, no. Um, uh, how did you eat? The rotten figs on the ground and the rats I tricked into trusting me. Yeah, hi, I'm Lucy. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. that's my sister there. Sister, that's Lucy, right. that's my sister. Oh, oh fuck. Yes. Um, never mentioned you before. Uh, Levi. Yeah, I, I know. He gave me a photo of you to give to the cops just in case he, what did you say, um, disappeared under... Suspicious circumstances, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go now, actually, because there's <sighs> too many worlds colliding. So. Oh, it's a boo! Oh, tainted! Just pretend we're not here. Oh, pretend we're mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get along. Okay, bye-bye. No. Mingling! Oh, childhood must have been very fun. Not sure we really did childhood. I'm getting wine. Do you want anything? Haha, I'm not thirsty. Not thirsty at all. You know what I am? I'm hydration station. I've got a little uh, train line from packed to my mouth. Okay. You ask what it is? What is it? Tube that? of water, of hydration. Because I'm like a six foot two glass of water. I like to keep it hydrated, I like to keep it fresh. That's how I'm going to do it. I have a little top ski right now. I'm going to be an overflowing glass of water. You know what I mean? It's a little. Ooh. Ah, that uh, a bit bone dry, that one. I'm going to grab another one. You know, <laughs> Levi's got a backup plan always. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's got a little one. Ooh. Oh, yep. No. <laughs> that one's empty too. <laughs> All right. Bone dry. Good night so far. Um, just so everybody knows, we have plenty of wine. We have plenty of alcohol. Plenty of alcohol. We have lots of alcohol. Plenty of alcohol. Please help us out. Alcohol. Tring, customer, beer, beer, wine. No, no, no. Can't have any of it. None of it. You know what? Fill me up. Once you go camel backpack, you never go camel backpack if you know what I'm saying. You know what? Pop tops. Remember those? Do you have any? Yeah, I've got a whole slab of pop tops out the back. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, they always make me buy a whole slab of pop tops. Come help. This was one time they gave me a lunch order, and you know what? They didn't give me black currant juice. You know what I even asked? Is, what do they pop top? Blah, 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 David Foster Wallace. Blah, 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 Fight Club. Blah, 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 
greatest book written in the past 20 years. Blah, 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 me, blah, 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 me, blah, 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 Hillary, blah, 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 Black Panther is a cash grab, blah, blah, blah. In polite company, Edmund expressed his enthusiasm for gender-neutral bathrooms, but in reality found them to be a fearful experiment, never more than a bad luck moment away from exposing his smelly shame. The event lacked any specific running order, so Edmund made his way to the back of the room, reducing his size as much as possible given that the awful assembly were sitting down. They would build a train station just so people could get off here to gamble all their money away. He's already at the entrance. Upon listening, he mused that perhaps one day this little scene might be held in the same cultural regard as those of 1920s Bohemia and the loft parties of the New York beatniks. This made him feel deeply relevant and timeless. And there he was, like a bird in a cuckoo clock, loud and on cue. I'll come to you, Sam. Sorry. The driver asked Sorry. as they jump in, looking behind him through the windscreen, enjoying a few more seconds of the fury in the security guard's face. He replies, just bang it down, Princess Highway, mate. Levi Carmichael was the man Edmund had the unfortunate. What was that about? That was really weird. And long too, so long. It was like my whole life. I'm dead now. Good. I'm excited for yours though. Oh, don't wink. You know I hate that. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Look, I'll be your hype man. We'll get you a robe. No, we'll get you a silk robe. And we're going to get your name in scribbled on the side. It'll be uh, your name. I feel like you think I'm going to fight these people. Yeah. No. All I feel like doing is shitting so hard I become a tiny little man and then running away. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Look, you're not in What do you have to lose? All you have to do is get up there and oh fuck. Hello. Exactly. My name is Trent. This is um this is the my new poem that I've written. Um it's called Bill Murray Ate My Family and Told Me Nobody Would Ever Believe Me, as she said. <clears throat> it's Thanksgiving and I'm renting a bungalow in Laurel Canyon, and I'm not American. My friend Maggie is groaning on my couch and sipping water and coming down from a shrooms trip she took further up in the hills and I'm turning up the volume on my Bluetooth speaker occasionally when her groans spread a whole octave. I remind her that it's Thanksgiving and that we're pretending to be American and should celebrate in some way but she's telling me fuck off and more quiet I think. Fuck America. I've sharpened all the pencils in my bungalow over the past two days and I'm fondling the shavings and there's a knock on the door. I'm not at the house visit sans texting stage of any of my relationships in Los Angeles, but I hesitantly answer the door and it's film actor and comedian Bill Murray. Bill Murray is holding a menagerie of ceramic bowls and plates, balancing them expertly. Tin foil and steam surrounding the collection, he looks and dirt in the eyes and screams in the same as he is the Bill Murray, film star, looks to me. Blood dripping from his chin and whispers, nobody would ever believe you. Thank you. All right, cheers, Trent. That's the end of our first bracket. Oh, no, actually, I've got a, um, I've got a thing. Uh, if you don't mind, can I, do you mind if I do a thing? Well, this could happen. Yeah, is that okay? Thanks. 
Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm I'm Levi, and um, I have a song, and I just kind of want to find out if it's shit or not. So, uh, I guess here we go. Edmund, children are magical creatures. I mean, they're incredible. I forgot how incredible it was to be a kid. I mean, you get older and people tell you that you're apparently supposed to get like better and better at things, but do you? I don't think so. I think that being a kid, you just get to capture this beautiful essence, this like authentic spark. Uh, no, wrong. Children are the foot soldiers of hell. They're quick, they're tiny, they incubate diseases, they often scream, and no matter how bad they get, you can't send them to real jail. So, no thank you. God, you suck. What is with you lately? What? Nothing. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because really when I think about it, you've basically ghosted our whole family and we don't know what you do. Oh, could you stop acting like I told you all to fuck off? I just moved out. Is that allowed? See, that's it. What? That. I mean, yeah, you moved out all right. And some fucking asshole who apparently hates everything and everyone moved in. I mean, what are you being right now? Cool, bitter writer guy? Jesus, yuck. Well, it's a bit true. I mean, are you happy with that, with being that? Well, look, I don't want to get into that. I was, I was about to leave anyway. I don't want to read. I just want to go. Why? I don't... Are you nervous? No, nervous would be wonderful. I'm not nervous. I'm boring. I'm boring and I suck. Because I'm white, I'm straight, I'm male, and I've got nothing to say that anyone in there wants to hear because I've got fucking everything. Right? You know, this sucks, probably. And in answer to your question, I don't know what I'm being. Boring, probably. And wildly self-indulgent. Calm down. No, you calm down. Pick a fucking career already. Help people be born or help them to die. It's stressing me out. Maybe while you're at it, you can tell me what I'm supposed to do with my life. I've got no fucking idea now. Okay. Go read. You go and read. Oh, you're so worried about people thinking that, you know, you're privileged or boring. How about you quit whining like a sickly, soup-fed little prince boy just because you have to get out there and read off a piece of paper. Okay. No, seriously, I'm sorry, but stop overthinking it. Just see what happens. You're allowed to suck, but you're not allowed to cop out. This is the first time that you have almost read anything that you've written, and I'm almost very proud of you. Okay. And interesting people aren't always good people. So, start by being interested in the people who care about you and the world around you and in being a good person. Okay, do I have to do all of those things at once? Go or do read! I... Okay, all right. Go! Yes, yes, okay, I should read. You're right, I should. Yes. Yes, good, all right. I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna do it. Good. I'm gonna do it. Yes, thank you, yes. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Peace off, friend. You didn't spike it, did you? This one? Nah, no, it's just um, lemonade, some water, some lemonade, and some vodka, and some spit. Just how I like it. Yeah. Down the hatch. Oh, okay. Well, it's not absolutely necessary to drink the whole thing. Thirsty. <sighs> I quit drinking. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Good show tonight. What was the what was the band at? Uh, yeah, I quit that too. Right. Oh. Yeah. Well, quitting stuff. That's good. Well, it was good to see you play. Your the the the, the song was real nice. I, I forgot you could sing. Yeah, I'm basically a child genius. Right. Cool. Yeah. What about that? Um, uh, Bill Murray. What was that new? Yeah, I, was, um, I wrote that for like this course that I'm doing at the moment. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, been yeah, doing so. lots of poetry and stuff now. Um, it's been good. Um, it's like, I just put a thing in like yeah, the lift um, brow. So, I know we weren't anything in particular, you know, but like, you know, when you just left, like, why did you ghost me? Yeah. Wow, I didn't it's time, Levi. It's my time. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. We're just about to start our second bracket of readings. So, if anybody would like to read, just... I will do it! Sorry, I'll go. Oh, you moved on fine. Hey, I don't really do crowd work, so... Here we go. There is a shade of blue that's painted, now peeling, off the tiny shack I live in. It's the kind of turquoise many Greek migrants painted their weatherboards in reminder, or perhaps in memorial of the Mediterranean Sea in summer. It's winter here and it's 2018 and I feel a long way from the world I left too. It didn't take long before he was distracted from the prose, the very carefully crafted words. He hummed inside like an empty fridge and looked endlessly at a cool jumper in the crowd. Then he had a not particularly pertinent but vivid memory, unrelated to the piece, of being spun under a wave and the burn of salt water up his nose. And then his five minutes rippled out into a smattering of applause in Brunswick Thank you. that didn't feel like much. Not much at all. Hey, so you didn't actually eat any rats, right? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Well, mom and dad are gonna have a dinner sometime next week. There'll be like huge amounts of food, free booze, surprisingly good company. You might like them. Fuck it, right? Yeah, I'll be there. I might bring some washing over as well, because I haven't really done that and I've been in the same outfit for like four months, so yeah. They're also going to organize going to the beach house before it gets sold. It's sold? That what? No. What? What do you mean? We never use it. Yeah, but no, we can't. <laughs> I'm surprised you care so much. You like hate the beach. You never went in the water. No, yeah, because I was shit at swimming. We both had swimming lessons. Yeah, well you were like level six swordfish. You had to make up a category for me. Goldfish. It's not really a creature of the sea, is it? <laughs> but that was like... I don't know, that was the fascination of it for me. It was just this massive, powerful, or inspiring force that it didn't feel right to be swimming in or playing in or surfing on top of. It was like, I just watched it. And it was the only thing that really calmed my mind down. And I'd hear it before I went to bed and I'd know that the tide was just gonna keep coming in for thousands of years after I was just bones and dust and that was amazing. I love that. I mean, we were like nine. That's kind of like... <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, well, come then. I will. Good. I bloody will. Mm, there's a fire pit out the back still? Yeah. We'll use that. It's really cold. We could even um, roast rats for you back there, you know. Just in case you're reminiscent at all, we could um, oh we could make you. That was a genuinely traumatic period of time for oh, me. Ratgetti and meatballs. That was my rock bottom. Probably would be the meatball. Um, we could have rat babs. Totally Doesn't make put rat babs. in the name of the food <laughs> that I love. <laughs> oh my goodness, ratatouille. We could have okay, ratatouille. We're making that. Shut up. Ratatouille. <laughs> so I see you smoking rollies now. How very uh, Brunswick of you. They're healthier. Like, just from an autopsy point of view, you know? I just I just want to know why it was that you've left. I don't know, I guess it was... I, I guess I just thought you wouldn't notice. Of course I was gonna fucking notice. I couldn't make toast. Well, with my toaster. 
Well, I think it was our toaster. I bought it. Well, I put money in for it. You borrowed that money I mean, from look, me? Look, look, like, I, you know, I don't care, really. Like, at this point, I just want to know why it was that you just left and, 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 just, and just took all that stuff. All right, well, if you would like me to be honest with you, I suppose I thought it was hot that you're a musician and that I could come see you play and I could bring my friends to come see you play and that would be very fun and very cool, but then I suppose I saw all the maintenance and all the work. Yeah, the drinking. Well, no, it wasn't even just the drinking. Like, you're not even that good at drinking. That kind of just, like, slowed you down and broke some of our stuff, but... I think it was just, like, the tunnel vision and this real lack of any sort of objective in any of your actions. Like, you had all of these things going on and it all seemed very important to you, but I didn't really seem that important to you. And I suppose I got sick of the version of myself that was trying to impress someone that I didn't really find all that impressive. And I guess I just wanted to see other people. Wow, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. It was the cowboy boots. Excuse me, is that your sentence? The reason that I quit drinking in the first place was because I, I got so drunk one night that I managed to like lose the shoes off my fucking feet. And you know, and I really fucking loved those shoes. And I think I loved them that much because you know, because you got them for me. I, I didn't get you any cowboy boots. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you I did. I've never bought cowboy boots before in my life. I don't even know where you would get cowboy boots from. Well, I don't know. You, you're you the one who bought them. No, I didn't. Oh, fuck. I didn't even, I didn't even lose those. I traded them for a despicable meat guitar pick mm. that I also lost. Right. Okay. Well, look, look at it this way. You did very well tonight. The, the, the song was very good. Your, the, the solo work is going very well. Your vocal progression is progressing. Um, I think, you know what? You've got moxie, kid. I'd hire you. Just, just not into my, my heart anymore, I think. Um, I, I suppose you probably could have gotten that from the six months of silence. I'm not really helping anymore, am I? Not at all. Right. Is this closure? Not even a little I bit. I think this can be closure no. for you. Listen, I watched a TED talk oh, recently and- Oh, hey, look, uh, friends. Hey, uh, what'd you think of the song? Oh, big fan, loved it. Loved the lyrics of it. Yeah, really, uh, give me one. Uh, Saturday, Saturday night, who can believe that Oh, Saturday you were night. listening. Hi, um, by the way, I'm Lucy. Hello, Trent. Trent. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, Lucy, Trent, Trent, this is Lucy. Uh, this is um, uh, uh, Rum Rumitello over here, and this is Trent. Hey man. Hey dude. Hey man. Hey dude. Yeah. All right, Trent. Hey. hey buddy Bear. Rumitello. Hey dude. Rumitello. Yeah. Get your name in. Scribble on the side. Of the uh, your name. Hey Levi. What's my name? What? What do you mean? Don't help him. No, it's Trent. Uh, do you mean Trent? Yes, charmed, I'm sure. What's my name, Levi? Um, I, I know your name. Oh, okay, so, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, Say um, it. Yeah. yeah Say uh, it now. Well, I mean, uh, from statistically speaking, um, uh, I want to say uh, Muhammad? That's a good guess. <laughs> or like, uh, like Spencer? Not Spencer. It, no, okay, look, I, I didn't get your name at the start, and it had been like a couple of months, and then I thought it would be too awkward to ask again. Oh. Come on, it could happen to anyone. No, um, what is his name though? Like, I don't... Is it not Spencer? Levi, I thought... thank you so much. For what? It's I didn't... been a pleasure. No, no, oh, but, no, what is it though? Me too. No, what? Me too. No, did you... Did you catch... Mohammed. Spencer Mohammed. It was... That's a lot. Well, either of As Edmund those... walked triumphantly into the crisp Lucy, night air, rage filling him with a newfound purpose, he thought to himself, that'll show them. I'm not there anymore. I'm here, and I'm a man, and I don't know where I'm going. Realizing quickly that turning back now would be pitiful, 
He walked slowly in the valley between embarrassment and yuppie fear, waiting for a light on his road to Damascus. Unfortunately, it was a road not to Damascus, but to Damascus, as the only light Edmund would come across during his terrifying north side pilgrimage were the warm golden arches of Ronald McDonald's bright beeping grease house. A quarter pounder later, he would call his mother for the first time in three months, who would pick him up from the car park and tell him she missed him. Given up, huh? you can take 